Hello my sunshines, rainbows, orchids and moonlights and welcome back to Mystic Love Tarot. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Ali and I am a psychic medium, tarot consultant and pagan priestess for the Morrigan. I'm also a writer for Witches Magazine. So, welcome to the channel. And what we're going to do today, this is a love-based channel, but for individual readings, we can look at various aspects of your life. But this has always been a love-based channel ever since I started it. And I started my journey um, on YouTube. I always focused on love readings, which is why it just focuses on them on this channel. But you also have the cards of the day. So if you want me for individual stuff, you can find me on Insta. It's just Mystic it Love Tarot. So we're going to do does my ex think of me and in fact i'm going to change that i will put it does my ex think of me and what does my ex think of me and i've got two decks to draw uh to for you to look at i always work with two decks because it works with the mutual energy so this is deck number one and this is num deck number two now spirit really drew me to get in the black and white decks out for you guys because they're saying about you know things are black and white within the situation things aren't always black and white there are gray areas involved in many situations and that is why they wanted us to pick these decks so this is deck number one and this is deck number two and i want you to pick the deck that you are most drawn to and with that, we'll get going. So, deck number one. What does your ex think of you? So, I'm just going to go into all your energy as we're talking. And, and then we'll go into all of your ex's energy. Your energies. And let's think about your ex, guys. Let's get your ex's energy. God, I'm really hot. I'm having a hot flush. Reached, reached 37 and started getting hot flushes. I found my first grey hair today. I was like, oh my God, this doesn't do too bad to get to 37, I guess. Okay, so what is the ex thinking about them? What is that ex thinking about? And does that ex think of them? And what does that ex think of them? Oh, mm, interesting. Interesting. Three. Let's get five. I'm going to do five. Four. I love this deck. This is a deck that I picked up at um, Witch Fest last year. It's called Tower of the Toiling Hands and it's by a tattoo artist. I just absolutely love it. Love it. You can buy the colouring books for it as well. It's actually become one of my favourite decks. So for those of you that read tarot, you've got the Four of Cups, Judgment, Emperor, Star, Seven of Wands. So we have a little bit of a mixed bag as the start of the reading happens. So four of cups, let's start off over here. Your person is feeling a little bit fed up over the situation, but they are reflecting on it. So right off the bat, you have this, I am thinking of you, I am reflecting on the situation, okay? But they're a little bit fed up with it. They're not quite sure they've handled the situation in a very good way. They're not entirely sure what it is that they want from the situation now. And they're really going inside of themselves to search for those answers. So it's definitely a thing of reflection happening in their thoughts for you. So yes, they are thinking of you. Yes, they are reflecting on it, but they're a little bit fed up of how the situation has unfurled. Now, you might have found, like, I know the situations between you guys have been really complicated. Sorry, I have a beautiful view and I read nature as well. Um, and I've just seen a family of birds all land up in this tree. And as I'm talking about this, this is kind of connecting you with that family energy, connecting you with that bonding energy. So you have the Four of Cups over here about feeling a little bit fed up with it all, um, but still focused, you know, with the birds kind of landing, we have this family focus, we have this family future, um, but they just haven't handled the situation very well at this point in time. But right off the bat, they are thinking about you, but they're just fed up on how the situation has unfurled. We next move on to judgment. So this is talking about resurrection between you guys. So your connection between them, uh, you and them will resurrect. OK, you will have a new beginning with them. And it's like a choice has been made on the situation. And perhaps it wasn't quite the right choice that you guys wanted. Perhaps you lot watching didn't have much of a say. Your person made the choice and now they're feeling a little bit fed up with the actions that they have made. But with it being judgment, you have a resurrection and a renewal of the situation as well. So where they are at the moment they're feeling a little bit sorry for themselves and how they've handled the situation but they are thinking about what could happen next what could potentially be the next steps and this new beginning going on over here 
emperor popping in as well so this will be your person and um, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel but it works with masculine and feminine energies so this is your person i want to do that I go oh, it's normally with spirit come really quickly into my energy and I, it, it catches it makes me uh, lose my breath it's the only time i ever do it when i'm doing readings and <laughs> um, so you've got the emperor over here this is your person being the strong person that they are they are stubborn so the choices that they've made, they're probably going to stick to you for a little while. Um, and they might even say to you like, well, you know, this is how it is. This is we ended it because it wasn't working out between us. Um, and I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to stick with my guns. But what's really going on in their thoughts is, well, perhaps we could have handled the situation differently before I made this choice to end it. They're reflecting on it all and thinking about the situation, how it's all ended up and what could have happened differently. Okay, and the emperor has then been very stubborn and stubborn is kind of like, well, I've made my choice. I've made my choice. We've got the seven of wands coming in. This is talking about them um, defending themselves and the choices that they have made. So the emperor and seven of wands kind of nicely coinciding in a, in a, in a way for you. Um, that they have like, well, this situation unfurled the way it did, so I'm not quite happy with that. Um, and therefore, I'm going to just stay strong, stay well, where I've put my my choice on my judgment and I am going to stand strong with my guns so they haven't changed their mind over the situation ending with you but they are thinking about it and, and they are thinking perhaps things could have gone differently and this is where the star comes in at the end and um, so the star talking about things being on the right path now if you wanted the resurrect um if you wanted the connection to resurrect with judgment as well, it shows that there is a possibility for this situation to come around again. And I just got the song, um, I don't remember who sings it, it's a super oldie, it's not super oldie, but it's an oldie one, coming around again. Um, so the situation can come around again, should you wish it to, should you want it to. But your person's got to lay their weapons down and really got to go and take a chance with this again and say, well, you know what? I'm going to lay this all down, put my cards on the table, communicate with you guys about what we actually want from the situation, how we can move it forward. I also feel with this, uh, at least one of you has had family issues here watching. It just really clearly came into uh, what I'm hearing. Um, and also a link for the name Sophie or Sophia just come up as well. So whoever you're talking to, I this is for you. Specific message. Um, they are going to be listening, or, or whoever with the family, they are going to be listening to their family a lot at this point in time and their friends. And they are influencing in perhaps a more negative light. They're not saying, oh, really nice beautiful positive things about you so there is going to be this need for your person to take a step back they are going to need to miss you the potential for the two of you to resurrect is there but your person's got to lay their weapons down and really kind of come into this energy with a fresh head and open communication and at this point in time that's quite a strained thing for them to do so this situation needs time and if you want to look at your situations individually just give me a shout on instagram mr love tarot um i do video readings and voice note readings same day return on voice notes as of the moment and that's step number one um so yeah they do think of you but they're just being really stubborn with the thoughts that they're having and saying well you know it could have gone differently if i'd done this this way or, or that way um but equally at the same time i'm just going to stand strong with my choices that was an eye roll if you didn't if you didn't pick it up <laughs> me rolling my eyes at them Okay, guys, uh, so let's shoot over to deck number two. If you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, welcome to the channel. My name is Ali and I am a tarot consultant, a psychic medium, um, a priestess for goddess and a writer for Witches Magazine. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. So what we're doing today is about your ex. Um, and does your ex think of you and what do they think of you? So let's just get going. Does your ex think of you? And what do they think of you? It's always interesting to find out about the ex, isn't it? Do you remember that song? I just heard it really clearly. Um, Case of the Ex. It was a song from the 90s. Let me see if I can get my 90s head on. It might be nearly 2000s. Um, Case of the Ex. What would you... It's something like, what would you do if you... Oh, I can't know. I can't remember the lyrics and it's probably best I don't sing. Um, but it's really old and it's saying, what would you do? Like, she calls you up. What, what are you going to do? Does she know about the Mercedes Benz you bought me? I'm really showing my age now. <laughs> But yeah, so you've got a case of the axe, which means your ex is probably going to be reaching out to you with that song coming up. 
did the uh, Jack X thing. Maybe, ah, yeah, specifically, we've got contact coming in. Does your ex think of you? So your ex does think of you. Your ex does want to speak to you. Your ex plans to reach out to you. Your ex is just delaying it. So you have got delays, okay? So it's not in the immediate future, but it's not in the not too distant future, okay? So if you want to look at individual timings, just give me a shout. But at this point in time, you kind of got this little bit of distance going on, but with a message that will come through, okay? So four of swords, hanged man, for like coming up in these cards. Those are you that read tarot, sorry. Four of swords, two of pence, page of cups, justice, hanged man. It's all the hanged one in this deck. So, four of swords and the hand man, we have got a bit of a stagnant situation. Both these cards indicate delays, especially with delays in messaging, okay? So, delays happening with you guys in the communication, but the communication will come through. So, you can take a, oh, it's just going to be when the time is right, kind of a divine timing thing, sorry to say. Your person's having a bit of a rest from the situation. They're having a little bit of healing. Their head has been in mental anguish over this for a while, okay? So it's not something new. Their head has been kind of playing them back and forth, unsure what to do about situations, unsure how they're meant to be feeling. But what I am hearing is I'm hearing the song um, by Finch, Letters to You, and the main lyrics of that, I want you to know that I miss you, I miss you so. So even though your person has kind of gone in hibernation, there is this missing energy coming up from them. They are really missing you. With the hands man, they aren't sure what to do over it. They're not sure how the situation is going to unfold. They don't really know what the next steps are. So they are just kind of staying stagnant and hoping that these big epiphanies will come to them and they can make their choices. Now, I don't know how many of you know the Nordic story of Odin and Idrisil, um, but Idris, um, Odin was on the Idrisil, went to the Idrisil tree and he stayed there for nine nights. So he learned the wisdom of the runes. And this is where the Hanged Man card theoretically kind of comes in. It really echoes that myth mythological story. So... In times of stagnancy is when you have the biggest prophetic visions and wisdom. So your person that you're asking about, your ex, um, even though not much is happening, they are having feelings, visions and thoughts over the situation and missing you. OK, time and space is making them miss you more. And spirit just saying really clearly to me, to me then and absence makes the heart grow fonder. So your person is really missing you. And this is when that message will come through with the page of cups. OK, so they will reach out to you. So absolutely thinking of you. Um, but more importantly, they're missing you and wanting to reach out. So two of pence kind of coming up over here this is i know it's a bit it's a still a bit of a it's more of a delay again um it's i'm going to take my time i'm going to balance it out maybe it's just in my head maybe it wasn't in my heart going between the two like the heart the head pulling them in different directions trying to stay very grounded on it rather than letting the heart run away from them so they're probably like well circumstances meant that it was like this it just wasn't meant to work out um i'm going to keep balanced on it but we know with the four of swords coming up that they are having healing in their, their thoughts over it their, their head has been in turmoil so even though they're like i think this is you know the right thing at this point in time the grounding energy the stability um the balancing of it all we've got that kind of turmoil and with justice coming in as well it's karmic energy coming up so you guys might have past lives together and if you want to look at past life readings do give me a shout you might have had past lives together you might some of you guys might be going through legal stuff with your person which is just going to really complicate things as well but that's for some of you guys it's a potential um but you have this kind of scales of justice coming out spirit really clearly showing me that what kind of good you throw out, you get back, okay? So if your person has been an ass to you, that karmic energy will be returned to them. And in the, the kind of witchcraft pathway, we say threefold, okay? So anything you throw out, they get back. And this missing energy, you know, you've been missing them a lot, but you're starting to feel a lot better. Some of you guys are starting to feel better. Your person is going to go the opposite way, okay? So they felt better that they made this choice and then they're really starting to miss you and it's going to take them to this very dark nights of the soul and these dark nights of the soul is what's going to give them this kind of prophetic visions with the with Idrisil and Odin they're going to give them these prophetic visions to reach out to you to get in touch with you to communicate with you and talk about you know what do you want next what do you want next let the karmic energy be served and that's step number two 
So if you want me for private readings, then just give me a shout. Happy New Year, by the way, guys. I didn't even say that at the start. Happy New Year. I hope you guys are totally blessed one. Um, stay up to date on the podcast. New new changes happen. I didn't mention the podcast. New changes happening there. We're, we're going down a different route this year. Um, but lots of exciting things happening in 2024. Um, Witches Magazine, more writings going on there. Um, so, and readings. And readings, readings, readings. Um, also at the Pagan Festival. I'm at the festival this year. So much happening. Um, so it's going to be a really interesting year, 2024. And I can't wait for it. Mark the 1st of February for the lighter days to come in. Because at the moment, it is just so dark. And with a toddler waking up at like 5 in the morning in the dark, it's just not necessary. It's just a little bit too early. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. I love you lots. And I will speak to you later. Many blessings.